Heel flips are one of those tricks that a lot of people can do. Even some people learn them before kick flips, but very few people make this trick look good. Jamie Foy is one of the few that just has a insane heel flip. Yeah, Jamie Foy is a big heel flipper and on the nine club, he actually talked about his secret for learning how to do proper heel flips. So I'll go ahead and play that clip for you right here. Yeah, I've developed a really good heel flip over time, yeah, dude. dude. That fakey heel Watch, flip. Watching Neen. Yeah. Dude. Watching Neen. <laughs> good. All shouts out to Neen. Yeah. Good person yeah, to watch. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't, like, we don't do them the same way at all, but it's just like, kind of just like, like he has a completely different setup than I would for my type of heel flip, but just seeing how it is like done fluently was like kind of like what helped me a lot. Not being scared to push his feet forward yeah, yeah, yeah. and being able to like yeah. get the board to come up and catch. You think he's going for a kick flip, but then he does a heel flip. He, watching Neen do him like it made me appreciate him more like so much more. So obviously Jamie Foy does have an incredible heel flip, but it's kind of understood that like Neen Williams is the heel flip guy. Recently I had a huge breakthrough with my heel flips and it was actually because I did what Jamie Foy talked about. I just went and stared at Neen Williams' heel flip to figure out what was going on. And today I'm gonna test out my theory. So if you look at when Neen Williams heel flips, see how aggressively he leads with his knee. So his knee moves forward first in front of the nose. And then that big long flick that he does with his foot is really just a consequence of how much he leads with his knee. If you watch Jamie Foy, he does the same thing to a lesser extent. But my theory is that leading with your knee is a key component to doing proper popped and leveled out good looking heel flips. So that's what we're going to test out today. It's a little bit chilly today. You can probably see there's snow on the ground. Probably like half an inch fell last night, but it's melted for the most part. But I'm still excited to get a session on this crusty basketball court. So let's do it. Needless to say, I've got a lot of work to do on my heel flips, but I do feel like I can say with some certainty 
that leading with your knee really does help. The one caveat to it is you can't let your foot get super pointy like a kickflip. Because if you try kick flipping off of the other side, it's just not gonna work. You still gotta keep your foot in kind of like a heel flip position, but then just lead with that knee and then let the foot follow the knee. So I just think get your knee out in front of the nose before it flicks and pick up that back foot so that it can actually level out and then come down. But I'll be honest, today I wasn't really feeling my heel flips. I was happy that they were leveling out, but I was really wanting to get them to pop higher, but for whatever reason, I don't know if it's because it's freezing cold or this ground sucks or whatever it is, but I felt like for the most part, my heel flips, like I was in control. So like I was landing my heel flips, they just weren't getting as high as I wanted to, but I did feel like they were leveling out. So that's positive. Now there's probably some people that are gonna comment, why don't you just name this Neen Williams secret to heel flip and the reason is I want to dedicate a full video to trying to figure out how to actually heel flip like the Neen Williams way where he's like really extending his foot and like really dip like I want to dedicate an entire video to that and also the only reason I looked at Neen Williams was because of what Jamie Foy said so I wanted to take one video to just do focus on Jamie Foy and heel flipping and just doing like a standard solid heel flip but I do want to do in the future a video where I'm like really over exaggerating everything like Neen Williams. Anyways, this has been one hell of a session. This ground is just like cheese, gra cheese grater ground and then some parts of it are like smooth and then all of a sudden they'll just be like go 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 you'll be hitting these bumps. It is so so sticky like you saw I was getting really upset on the back 50 back 180 out. Number one it was mostly my fault like this ledge is pretty short it's only five feet long so it's like you get in you get out and I was having a hard time just with the speed of getting into it and then quickly popping a back 180 and so my back 180s weren't fully rotating but that's normally okay like at a skate park or even just like normal ground in a parking lot you can get away with skirting a little bit here absolutely no forgiveness for under rotating everything has to be fully rotated the ground was really just getting to me like you saw I just did like a stationary tray flip and to be honest, it was garbage, but like I couldn't get the board to like really rotate on this ground. It was just like chewing up my pop. If you watched my last video, I talked about how this board wasn't getting any razor tail. And now just after one session, skating on this cheese grater ground, it's like almost there ready to start razor tailing, which absolutely sucks. Like I'm gonna get my session in, but I definitely am like resenting this ground. Also, I cracked my board on the front lip. I did like a hundred of them, but sometimes I want to come out of a trick a particular way. And I was just like really pivoting all those front lips. So I just kept trying. And again, it's super cold. So like, I'm sure the board is like really brittle and that's why it cracked. Yesterday, I sheared hardware. Like my bolt just literally like split in two. Anyways, despite all the elements, managed to get a session in. Definitely wasn't the most enjoyable session. I was kind of like yelling to myself, maybe to the world, quite a few times throughout the session. Just so frustrated. But but after all is said and done, I'm grateful for skateboarding. I'm grateful for you guys. To be in the position that I am to be making money off of skateboarding is like really, really rare. Very few skateboarders get to do that. And I'm definitely not where I want to be with the channel yet, but the progress that I've been making is like super encouraging. And I just have to say, say shout out to all of you guys. Like I just want to give my thanks to you guys for your support and encouragement. Just leaving so many positive comments liking the videos, watching them. There's really absolutely no way to do this without you. So thank you very much, guys. If you do like these videos and you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell. Remember to make every single day a Friday and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.